Welcome to episode 14 of Chief Chat. I'm your Chief Executive, Matt Vincent. This is the week of July 22nd, Evil Knievel Day's week. We're going to start right out of the gate by giving the double thumbs up and welcoming aboard, hopefully, our new Parks and Recreation Director. We have concluded our search for the replacement of Jay Ellington, and our selection committee has uh, arrived at the unanimous choice of John Pat, J.P. Gallagher, he's uh, coming to Butte Silver Bowl from his principal position at Whittier Elementary School. J.P. is an outstanding choice for the job. He has got over a decade of experience working in athletics of all different ages. He graduated from Butte Central here in Butte. He uh, served our country in the Navy. He got a degree in teaching from the University of Montana Western, and he since has received his master's degree in educational leadership. And so we're very excited that uh, JP has accepted the conditional offer. We're just waiting for our Council of Commissioners to bless him uh, on Wednesday evening, at which point he will be ready to start work for us on Monday, July 27th. And so very excited again to announce that. We have uh, been pulling together all hands on deck to serve our community in the midst of its uh, very busy parks and recreation season of the summer, as well as pull off these festivals. Uh, we've got the Folk Festival under our belt. We're close to having Evil Knievel Days under our belt. We want to give a shout out to all of our citizens and our business owners who have been patient and cooperative with us and to help us really celebrate and have fun at, at our best time of the year in the summertime with our festivals. And so uh, with that, we'll move right into Evil Knievel Days. Uh, we have uh, got some, some very big events on tap this year. Unfortunately, uh, the, the son of Butte's famous son, Evil Knievel, Robbie Knievel, is not going to be likely uh, jumping this at this year's event. Um, but we have got a, a slew of other amazing stunts planned. There are, I believe, four world record attempts that are on tap this year. Headlined big time on uh, Friday night with a world record distance semi-truck jump by Greg Godfrey, founder of the Nitro Circus. He will be jumping, attempting to jump uh, over 100 feet with his semi-truck uh, tractor over a fully restored Evil Knievel Big Red tractor trailer that uh, was, was uh, uh, what Evil Knievel used to haul all of his wares around to his various events back in the 1970s. So that's the headliner for Friday night. On Saturday night, we have Spanky Spangler's son, Brian Spangler, AKA Spanky Jr., will be attempting to break the world record for distance jumping a car in reverse. And both of those stunts will be going down on East Park Street. We're excited to see what, what takes place. We've got another uh, world record attempt with uh, the ka Kamikaze Kid trying to break uh, the record for running through firewalls and Tanner Godfrey, Greg Godfrey's uh, nephew, who is a paraplegic, will be trying to attempt to break his world record in a razor jumping over 100 feet. So bring the family, come down, it's all free, and it it's promises to, to be just packed with excitement. And again, thank you to our, our local business owners and citizens for supporting us in our festival endeavors. Next up will be our county fair next weekend, can round it out by the uh, uh, Henri Ra Irish Festival and the original festival. So we're very excited to, to, to be roughly halfway through our festival season this year. The budget. Of course, we have uh, our budget going uh, uh, tonight. We will be Wednesday. We will be looking for an adoption of our preliminary budget so we can uh, continue to pay people while we hone in and fine tune the uh, larger new portions of this year's budget, which would include some of our major capital expenditures, namely the uh, $627,000 that we have uh, advocated to allocate into improving our roads, as well as a number of uh, proposed new positions. This is really just a, a, an adoption of the final preliminary budget. We've got 
plenty of time left to make adjustments to that. And it's still very important that we hear from you, the citizen. We've already had over 310 surveys come in on our website or dropped off in person here. We're looking at those. We're making changes and considerations right now. We have begun the process of having a series of additional public meetings. The, I say additional because we will have our required by law public hearing that starts on August 5th and will continue at least for a week uh, prior to final budget resolution. But we will um, be having an additional number of public meetings starting with uh, on Thursday, July 23rd at noon at the Butte Country Club. The Butte Rotary Club is hosting myself and Finance and Budget Director Danette Gleason to go over the preliminary budget and proposed uh, uh, priorities that we have for this year. Next week on Monday, July 27th at 6 p.m., we are being hosted by the Butte Idea Exchange on the second floor conference uh, room or gathering room of the Quarry Brewery. And then finally on Tuesday, July 28th at noon, we will be down at the Belmont Senior Citizen Center presenting our information there. And at all of those, um, all of those venues, we are uh, not only opening up questions that we hope we can answer for you all, we're also wanting to hear what, uh, what your feedback is on our priorities and, and if there's any that we miss. So please give us your feedback. We are open to it and we really uh, think it's important in order for us to fashion a, a budget that everybody can uh, support and live with. Um, finally, you may have read uh, this week that we have asked our Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks to schedule an additional listening session for the sportsmen and women in our conservation groups here in Butte in Southwest Montana as they embark across the state of Montana to have a number of listening sessions on their uh, strategic planning process that will kind of chart their path for the next 10 to 20 years. The preliminary list of locations and dates did not include Butte or any other city in Southwest Montana. And so on behalf of Butte, Silver Bow County and Southwest Montana as a whole, I uh, voice my concerns with the Fish, Wildlife and Park Administration. We do not have a exact date and time yet, but it is looking very promising that Butte will be having one of these listening sessions with the Fish, Wildlife and Parks check back to chief chat next week and we will have a date and a time for that it will likely be held on the campus of montana tech hats off and thank you to chancellor don blackheader for uh, making his campus available for that gathering until next week i'm matt vincent have fun and in the words of evil knievel for knievel lays week happy landings